I've got most of these activated, um, all but the red. And I did add some moisture drops. These are the moisture drops. But I'm a little worried. It looks very dried out and gummy inside. Well, it's getting a little more moisturized. So we have hope. Hopefully sitting upside down will help. Um, so I am a little hesitant what to do without the red. Um, there is a little bit in here that I was able to get out, but this is my little pot that I use to warm up all the co colors and test them. So what I did was um, held them in my palm, rubbed them and warmed them up. Um, and then you just gotta kind of start clicking. If you're doing that for a while and it doesn't work. A safety pin, a push pin, um, they recommend one of those SIM card things. And you push that down. You can also look at this in the light and you can see how far the product is. So if you're pumping and pumping it, you can look and see if it's moved from the last time, if it's almost there where it's at, um, if rubbing it doesn't work. I would put it in a little glass of water, like up to here maybe, of warm water, and just let it kind of warm up. That's probably what I'm gonna do with this red, but I did just want to demonstrate and, you know, make a, make a quick color. So let's get one of our pots and just put it on there. Let's see, is that on correctly? Yes. Okay. And there is, there's an app that you can download. There's also this little paper in here, and it gives you colors and tells you how many pumps of each to make that color. So I really want to go for a dusty rose kind of color. I'm going to try this one right here. It's too red, so that might be dicey, we'll see. Three white and a black. Okay, let's start with the red so we can really see if it comes out. Is there any we can make without red? We can make a green. We can do a gray, light blue. Gosh, the red really is such an important part too. It's there on the tip, it should be coming out. demonstration might have to hold. Okay, we got one pump. What did we want? We want two, three white, and a black. Okay, so we got one pump. Maybe now it's, it'll come easier. Nope. Is there anything you can make with one pump? Gosh, that is so irritating. Oh, I got another little spit. There we go. 
three. So we got three red. Well, let's do black and then maybe we can add uh, just a uh, black and blue do look kind of similar. Let me make sure. Okay, we got the black in there. And how many? Right, so we'll do four and just see what we come up with. Our first, our first lip color from our lips kit. I should have done a, a lip, um, a lip scrub first. But. So we put the sponge in clean pot to catch any drips. Genius. Okay, so this is our mixture. Looks like we do have about the same of white and red, and then one pump black. So, let's see. Hopefully this is a good color, because I think we're going to have a lot of it. We might need another pump of white. Oh, I do like this shade. It's very vampy. A little too purple for my liking. It's kind of dusty rose on the purple side. Let's see. Gosh, a little really does go a long way. See that I didn't even have to dip my brush back in once. I like that. I really, really like that one. Um, should we add some of the shimmer? Why not? It's already almost dry. Okay, so this is just like a pigment you could get anywhere. Let's start with that much of the shimmer. from here. It's very finely milled shimmer. It's not like big chunks of glitter. Which I do like. It's very subtle. But when I go at it with my brush, it does seem to disappear. That's really pretty though. Another thing I learned is that anything in here can be used on the eyes. So this pigment, you can mix up your own liquid eyeshadow if you wanted. Um, and it really dries down so, so nice. You can use it as a base if you don't have a white base, you don't have a white concealer, you need white, boom. It's really, really innovative, and I absolutely am obsessed with this. And I just couldn't, I did not have the money for it, and I really couldn't help myself. So that's our first look. I'll come back into a video with another couple after I figure out this red situation. Um, and start to think of, you know, what, what color combinations we want to do. Actually, let's see how it would look with just a little bit more white. But yep, there's another pump in there. And 
And if you didn't watch the other video, these lids on the pot do come with a little lip brush. It's perfect, you have extra in your pot. You put the lid on and then put it in your purse and throughout the day, you just apply it. Now, I don't want to dirty up another brush that I'm gonna have to clean if I don't have to, so that's just where I'm at today. I do kind of wish these were a little smaller, these pots. Gosh, there really is a fair amount of formula in there. But it makes sense, they have to be at least this big to fit on the bottom. So that's okay, I just despise wasting. So this is the same color, just with one more pump of white in it. So we'll just kind of dab that on the center. I really, really like this shade. how full coverage it is and it's really really full coverage I am bummed I can't clean it up because I have foundation on for a wear test right now but it looks pretty damn good this is so exciting I really never need another lipstick ever it's just so exciting to me. I would love to get it. Just, you know, finish off all these lipsticks, donate a bunch of them, and just have this little wonderful device. It's the only tool I need. Very cool. 